VDOT wants you to take a trip to the Beltway, but not in your car. A new pedestrian bridge has just opened over the road, and it's drawing a lot of attention. News 4 transportation reporter Adam Tuss took a stroll across the new bridge. For most of us, Beltway traffic is something you try to avoid. But a new pedestrian bridge right above the inner and outer loop in Tyson's is creating a more inviting experience. It felt nice, nice and breezy. This brand new $13 million pedestrian and cycling bridge creates something that this community frankly hasn't had, connectivity. Every day, I'm walking to a mall every day, yep. Gina and her children out for a stroll on this cool November day. Now she has direct access from her home on one side of the Beltway to the Tyson's Mall area on the other side. If she wanted to make that trip previously, she would have had to drive. Oh yes, I live here 25 years. So this is very convenient. Well look, maybe you've never tried walking across the Beltway. Let's see how long this takes. I'm going to start my stopwatch. All right, a nice brisk walk across the bridge and you can be across about 12 lanes of Beltway traffic in just about a minute. It was very nice. You see lots of cars. Lots of traffic, right? Other pedestrians with their reviews. Good, uh, good day. Does it help? Yeah. Mike Murphy with VDOT says this is an outside the box approach to bridging a gap with this particular community. You're absolutely right, Adam. The, we don't get pedestrian bridges built across the Beltway every day. This is huge. This is, um, I mean, dare I say, like almost transformational. The bridge was built off site and then lifted into place. VDOT's encouraging everyone to take a look and even snap a selfie or a picture as you walk or bike across. In Tyson's, Adam Tuss, News 4.